Shopify upsells without using an app. In this video, I'm going to show you how easily you can upsell products on your product page. Let's say that you have two items, one is more expensive and you want to offer that more expensive item whenever someone wants to buy this other item. We have this one that costs 149 and this one costs 249. So whenever someone clicks to add this product to their cart, we want to offer them to switch it with this more expensive item that may be more profitable for us. And in order to do that, you can either go and install an app which has a monthly fee and can slow down your store that affects your conversion rate. Or you can install a native code snippet like the one I'm gonna talk about in the next minutes that seamlessly integrates with your Shopify theme and doesn't affect the functionality or the site speed. This native code is really easy to install and in the description of this video you're gonna find the tutorial file with all the steps that you have to follow. When you download the tutorial file it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna have a zip file and inside it you're gonna have an HTML file. You just have to open the HTML file and it's going to open inside your browser and you're gonna have all the details in there. So let's follow the guide. First of all, we'll have to go to the dashboard and settings, custom data and products. I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna go to settings, settings right here. Then custom data was recently renamed to meta fields and meta objects. The tutorial will reflect this whenever you're gonna download it. So we're gonna go to meta fields and meta objects, then to products and inside there, we're gonna have to add one more definition. But let's go back to the tutorial and inside there, we're going to create a new definition that is named upsell product. And I'm going to copy that and I'm gonna go back to my dashboard and in there I'm gonna add definition and I'm going to select the type and the type is product. I'm gonna select that and I'm going to leave it with one product so we don't need the list of products. So we have one meta field for product. I'm going to add that in and now I'm gonna go back to meta fields and meta objects to product and I'm going to add one more definition and the next definition is upsell message so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to select the rich text type so i'm going to add the name in there and i'm going to select the type rich text type and i've selected that so now i'm going to just save we have these two meta fields right here let's head back to the tutorial okay now on the point four we have to go ahead and mark the upsell products to the product that we want to upsell on. So I'm gonna go to my dashboard to the product list and I'm going to select the watch that I want to offer the other one on top. So I'm gonna open the normal watch and I'm gonna go at the bottom and here where I see upsell product, I'm going to select the pro version of the watch. This is what will be offered on top of this normal watch. So I'm gonna go and select the pro version as an upsell product. So as an upsell message, I said, get the Wavy Tech Pro instead, question mark, and I'm going to save that. Okay, now we have the upsell product and we have the upsell message. I'm gonna go back to the tutorial and I'm going to install the upsell section. So to do that, I'm gonna go in my dashboard and I'm gonna go to edit code. So you would have to go to your online store and then to the three dots over here on the theme you want to work. If it's the live theme, you can do it from here. If it's another theme, if you're testing this out, it's gonna be from here. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to edit code and inside the theme folder, so in the first where you have the, the name of your theme, I'm gonna open that up. And inside there, I'm going to go to sections and I'm gonna go back to the tutorial. And at point six here, we have to create a new section named upsell pop-up. And I'm gonna copy the name. I'm gonna head back and I'm going to create here the new section. I'm gonna click on new file and I'm going to paste uh, the name and then dot liquid. Don't forget to add the extension. And then you're gonna have the file inserted there. Then I'm gonna go back to my tutorial and it says that I should paste in everything that starts over here and until at the end of this section. So I'm gonna copy all the code inside this black box and I'm going to paste it back inside my section over here. 
and I'm going to make sure that I have here end of Shopio so upsell and in the beginning I have start of Shopio so upsell when that's done I'm going to save and I'm going to go back to my tutorial I'm going to go back up and now at number seven here I'm going to copy everything that is in curly brackets and not the quotation marks then I'm going to go back to my theme and I'm going to look for theme.liquid and to do that I'm going to press command and P to search for files and I'm going to type there theme and I'm going to open theme.liquid and inside the theme.liquid I'm going to press command and F to search inside it and I'm going to add there slash and body just to find the closing of the body tag and then I'm going to hit enter on top of it and I'm going to paste the line that I just copied from my tutorial there. Then I'm going to save and that's kind of it. Now if I go and I click on add to cart, I should see that pop up and here it is. So we have the pop up over here asking me get the wavy kit pro instead you can add whatever text you want in here now you're going to have the image of the upsell product over here you're going to have the title the pricing yes upgrade me no thanks if i click on yes upgrade me the product that gets added to cart at the moment we don't have a product added to cart the product that gets added is the pro version if i click on no thanks the original product gets added so now if i go and i upgrade the upgraded product was sent to cart the pro version and this just happens once a session so if for example i go now back to the product page here and if i remove the product from cart if i click now add to cart the pop-up doesn't show anymore and that's because the pop-up showed already once in this session we don't want to annoy our customers so if you want to see the pop-up again you will have to close this tab this session and open it again in a new tab and now if i go and i add this product to cart i will see the pop-up again with the upsell and this is how things work this is a great way of upselling without having to pay fees for apps or without having to slow down your theme this is also mobile friendly so if i go in mobile view you can see that the pop-up is changing shape this will look great on mobile and it will look great on desktop as well so if you're interested in this section you want to give it a try look in the description of this video because you're going to find a link for it there and this section also has a couple of settings so if you go to your theme and you go to customize inside here on the left side you're gonna have the upsell pop-up section if you click on it you're gonna find the settings for the yes button so you have the text for the yes button and the colors and then you're gonna have the text for the no button and the colors for that and if you are interested in tools like this i have another video in which i show you how you can give a gift to your customers whenever they buy something so if you want to see that click this video and i'll see you there